Hey guys, it's Ethan Bale here. Hope you have a fantastic week. Now in this video, what I'm going to do is tell you exactly how to attract the right type of customer. And there's two main strategies to do that. I'm going to break through them in this video right here. So if you find this video helpful, feel free to hit the subscribe button below. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Without further ado, let's get into it. So in terms of how to attract the right type of customer, you need to know how your customer thinks. Now from a psychological perspective, people like to be associated with an identity. They like to be labeled. So you've got the people who like to be labeled as the coffee drinkers, you know, people drink coffee, those that go to the gym, those that are, you know, entrepreneurs, those that are business people, those that are the popular one, the, that person who's, you know, can drink the most booze on a night out or something. People like to be identified with a label and understanding what label they like to be, you know, labeled with is how you call them out. This is a very, very good strategy we use. For example, you probably see them all the time in the ads, but saying something like attention coffee drinkers, or do you want to be a good dad, or do you want to be the biggest guy in the gym, that type of thing. People like to have an identity. And then the second one is showing rather than telling. So you see a lot of time, like there's a brand called Icon that do this very, very well, and they just sell cargo pants, so slim fit pants at the end of the day. But they, their identity, and there's a skincare brand called Patch, which I do the same, but their identity is they are one, they're kind of like a rich, affluent type person who uses their product. So even if you aren't rich and affluent, by using that product from a psychological perspective, you think you will be, and people's perceived value of you will also go up because they also will assume, okay, this guy was icon, this guy must have money, this guy must be affluent. See, this is very, very common. Uh, Patrick's do it all the time. They may have some shots from inside a spaceship looking on the earth. They may have some shots of any garage of like Porsche and Lamborghinis. And the brand icon do it by having someone walking through like in Italy or you know Las Vegas or Miami, some really rich affluent built up areas. I've done it a few times where I've got like a dog harness and I've had the person walk through LA and they'll walk past like Louis Vuitton and they'll walk past you know Gucci, Dior, Chanel and brands like that. So people look at the harness and make the connection of okay, I want to be that you know that dog mum who is affluent and looks affluent and people look up to because that's the identity I want, the dog mum identity, so I'm gonna buy this harness. And the whole identity is basically understanding who your market want to be. Not not what they want, but who they want to be. If we look at <coughs> Hugo Boss, for example, they did a marketing campaign quite recent as well. They have Chris Hemsworth as their kind of lead model because people look at him and go, you know what, I want to be like him. I want that identity because when people buy a product, they buy into a newer version of themselves to exit the version they're currently in. So they don't just buy, you know, a fragrance, for example, Hugo Boss aftershave to smell nice. They buy it because what that means, for example, salespeople, the identity of like a, an executive, a director would wear Hugo Boss. Chris Hemsworth used Hugo Boss and he's a model. So they may think by using this either the identity of a model or a successful person or something along those lines. So essentially calling out a specific identity is a great way to get people's attention. Because again, from a cycle to protect, but from a psychological perspective, people like us, they like to have that label. They like to be known as that guy, that type of thing. So they're basically the two key ways. First one is just calling out the identity. For example, attention coffee drinkers. Um, do you want to be the biggest guy in the gym? That type of thing. And then the second one is showing rather than tell. You know, like for example, Hugo Boss uses Chris Hemsworth or in, a, in an ad maybe have someone walking past a, you know, Bill up urban city with like Louis Vuitton, Gucci or whatever to show affluence. So there are your two ways. So the other two ways how you can call out your specific customer with your Facebook ads. So I hope you found this video helpful. Now, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button as well. Now, if you don't want me to run your ads, look in the description below where it says have Ethan Bailey run my ads. Click the link there, show a very, very quick 15 minute chat and we'll see if we're a good fit to work together. And without further ado, that is everything and I hope you have a great week.